everybody, I've got a quick tip for you tonight. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make changes across all of your measures in a matter of seconds. Um, so here I've got a report. And what I didn't do in this report is you'll see here I use the the variable result and then the return result structure, which I think is a best practice. But the one thing I didn't do is I didn't put the underscores before the variable names, which also um, I think of as a best practice. And it's just something that I, I just occasionally forget to do, and I did on this report. And so I've got a whole slew of measures here that I need to change um, that don't use the underscore. And so the question is, instead of going through each individual measure and making that change, is there a way to do it in bulk? And there is. Um, so if we jump into Tabular Editor, I'm going to show you a really cool feature. Um, and it's, it's a feature called DAX scripting. And if we go down to this measure table, we open it up. Um, what we can do, we've got a whole slew of measures here, and a lot of those need to be changed in the way that we just discussed. And what we can do is we can just right click on that and say script DAX. And what that'll do is that'll create a script with all of our DAX measures in one file. And what we can now do is we can now take and do an edit replace, and it'll pop up a nice search and replace box with a lot of options. And then what we can do is we can just type result and then replace that with underscore underscore result. And we can, we can choose to match case or whole word. In this case, I'm going to leave both of those blank and just replace all and boom, there we go. 57 changes in basically a second. And so let's go through and do one more change. Um, so I usually use a, a variable called V table for my virtual tables. Um, and we'll replace that with underscore underscore V table. And do another replace all. And in that case, we've got 56 occurrences. So we've, we've just now made over a hundred changes in, in our DAX. And all we need to do now is just hit F5, execute that. And you'll see here. DAX script executed, 21 objects modified, and we just go into our, um, our Tom editor here, just hit control S and it'll say right here, model saved. And if we go back into our power BI file, what we'll now see is if we click on each of these measures, we'll now see the V table and the result, um, variables updated with the changes that we made. And as we click through, we'll see that in each and every one of the, the measures in that table. So huge time saver, great feature, um, only available in tabular editor three, um, can't do the DAX scripting in the free version, but it's just one of the reasons why I think that, um, tabular editor three is just a, a worthwhile investment. Um, so I hope you find that helpful. Um, good time saver. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.